What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we are back out in the garage trying to install a radio on my Terminator Cobra. Now if you didn't watch the last video, do me a favor, pause this video, go take a look. I'm going to put a card right up there. Just to see, we tried to put a really nice Kenwood unit into the car. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. So today, I have another unit we're going to try. Let's take a look. Part in the mess here, I have interior parts kind of all over the place here. I, I left the interior of the car taken apart. So the main problem that I had, this is the stock unit. You can see it's a full length unit. On the back of it right here is a bracket that rides on a metal kind of metal support. And as a result, the Kenwood was a very, very shallow unit. It probably came out to about here uh, and it didn't hit it. And as a result, the radio kind of went in when you push the buttons a little bit. So on the advice of a friend, I went with this. This is the Pioneer DMH W2770 NEX. It's got wireless and wired CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, it is full touchscreen, same size. It's very similar in look and feel to the DMX 809S Kenwood that I picked up. The ironic thing about the Kenwood is that it had so many great features, none of which I was taking advantage of. I mean, it had, I think, two or three camera inputs. This one only has one, but I'm not hooking a backup camera into this car anyway. So here is the unit itself, and it is in the same Metra kit that I used with the Kenwood. And as you can see, it is, let's just spin this around. It's definitely longer than the Kenwood. The Kenwood barrel did. I don't think it even cleared the thing here. Um, you can see it's not still as long as the stock one, but it does come out further. When I popped it in there, it was really, really good. It, very, it moved very, very little bit. So what I did is I just put that small piece of foam on there to kind of replicate the OEM bracket, and it seems to be perfect. Looking at the wiring, I did use the same Metra kit and the axis step down for the amp that I had used on the Kenwood. Uh, again, shout out to Crutchfield for making the return so easy and giving me all of the wiring diagrams for it. The great thing about these posi locks, which I talked about in that last video, please do me a favor, check that if you haven't done so already, is I was able to simply unscrew them, pop everything apart, and reuse them. So this is all set, ready to go. I have plugged it in, confirmed that the radio works, so we were back here with the harness. The harness is all taped up. You can see it's ready to go. Uh, the head unit is ready to go. I still haven't completely pulled off the front piece here. Here is the GPS antenna, which I really like how Pioneer has made it magnetic. So it'll be easier to mount it. I'm probably gonna retain it with on its magnet. Maybe put a zip tie around it just in case. Here is the USB cable. Like I said, I'm gonna run that through the back of the dash out from the, uh, I like the glove compartment, glove compartment area, glove box. This is the um, wireless microphone, the Bluetooth microphone, let's call it. And it's gonna be plugged in, it's gonna mount. You see I have this really strong kind of easy pass kind of tape. I think I'm gonna mount it right all the way up here. It won't be too visible, and like I said, it'll keep the wind noise to a minimal because it is a convertible. Uh, this is the uh, 2770 I believe so it does come with this remote which I'm not even going to use I'll probably just throw it in the glow in the uh, center console just because it comes with it yeah let's uh, put in this GPS put in this USB put in this microphone and let's throw the head unit into the car So we are pretty much done here. Everything's back in, all the trim. Uh, put my phone holder back up here. Uh, 
This I'm keeping because it's uh, three amps as opposed to one and a half amps. I think that the um, that the uh, what's it called the the radio actually puts out. So if I want to charge, I can pl I can plug it in there. If not, I don't have to. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is this is where I mounted the microphone. I'm actually going to put it right here, kind of like where a shift light would be. Um, when it's up here, you really you really won't notice it at all. But like I said, it should be a better spot. I just need another piece of Velcro. I'm gonna Velcro it up here so it's easy to move around. Gotta put the headlight switch back in. But yeah, she works pretty good and it connects pretty quickly. My phone is actually on the workbench. So let's see if it actually grabs it from here. I have to find out if I could change that boot up screen. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, we gotta get away from the. There you go. So it does go pretty quickly. It's great. I mean, it's pretty quick. It's responsive. I gotta clean it. There's all stuff adhesive from there on here, but it, it's pretty quick. It's comparable to my Kenwood. Yeah, so I, I like it. I have to tell you, I like it so far. It does kind of fit inside. Can you totally mute this? Yeah, you can. It, it does fit within the look of this car, but it gives it a more modern feel. Like I said, I only need CarPlay, I only need Bluetooth, and I only need phone. I don't need any other camera stuff. So if you're looking for something like this, the, the Pioneer is a great unit. I do like it, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, as, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.